temperatures get right back into it looks like those 60 66 degrees over into LAX and yeah overall we are doing pretty well here today over into our sunrise and our sunset we're looking good about 620 will be our sunrise our sunsets around 733 this morning and we are on we our are way to a nice get back day to, over it looks to California like those 60s for us this afternoon it looks like 66 degrees uh, for the valleys 78 degrees at 11 a.m. and then at 3 p.m. we're around 85 degrees high pressure big dominating feature is now weakening today so the good news is this area of low pressure is going to start to sag down to the south and that'll help provide us with a little bit of cooling as it moves its way a little farther southbound so you can see that the isobars are starting to move their way down our temperatures will fall as that allows that sinking air to kind of just nestle down into this nice trough of low pressure 81 degrees for your Thursday then you head out into your Friday we're seeing about 79 degrees the center of the low making its way through Oregon Portland 66 degrees with some rain in that area so that's going to be the coolest of the next seven the Friday that is ahead a quite significant cool down behind this though we're talking about those isobars tightening up really well bringing back the opportunity for some uh, it looks like a Santa Ana wind so next week uh, northeast we're talk 20 about miles Santa per Ana hour winds so yeah, we do have some chilly. windy weather 30s so are back and then a 10 percent chance of some thunder and lightning on Tuesday after those passes get to see some of those northeasterly winds degrees, about 30 uh, miles that per was hour. yesterday right, so we're, we're gonna... well above average for this time of year average is about 84 degrees so some of our LA areas downtown specifically is really just been very warm a record back in uh looks like a 1891 was 96, so we broke a record yesterday. I, yeah, there you have it. So it was well above average. Now we're going to get right back to temperatures over in Santa Monica, making it to 66 degrees here this morning. It's all looking very good. And if we are hitting out the door, we are also noticing 73 degrees in Ontario, 70 right now we into Riverside. So this is a pretty warm developed. morning throughout this morning. Most of us, though, are dealing with some offshore conditions, kind of just heading out of the Burbank area, moving down through Woodland Hills. So we still have some pretty. So things are coming down. We're going to keep that cooling trend going, not just for today, but it looks like that cooling trend will persist through the weekend. In fact, I'll just say it on Friday and Saturday. I mean, it's going to be down to the 70s, which is unusually warm for this time of year. I mean, that's a big departure from 84 degrees where, where we should be. So it's a nice uh, change. High pressure is weakening very much so. And then that allows an area of low pressure to sink on down. So this area of low pressure that I was watching out for, it's going to create this nice deep trough here in Southern California, allowing for that sinking cooler air to nestle down into that trough. So temperatures by the time we're heading into your Thursday, 81 degrees. Then you head out into your Friday. It's back to about 79 and then making your way Saturday, coolest of the next seven, 78 degrees. We rebound though, right after the Saturday that's ahead, we're going to see temperatures warm back up on that Sunday. And then that Sunday, now we're going to talk about a, maybe even a Santa Ana beginning to develop for that Monday. So Santa Ana winds create so fire danger like for a week, Santa Ana for the most part. So that's some good news. Windy weather two degrees out there into those onshore winds before the offshore fire danger winds return on your Monday. So these will be moisture starved winds, really adding into the compressed dry. 7HD. We are talking about Santa Ana's, so 